No, so I, I, uh, I sent Scott something the other day that I wanted to talk about. Um, so a lot of, uh, you know, a, a lot of people in my industry, they, they always, they tend to do this thing where they say, <laughs> they say, you know, video game journalists and they put journalists in quotes, like, oh, journalists, <laughs> like we're supposed to be something above what we are. Like, like, first of all, a, I've never sucked Call of Duty's dick, right? I, I can't, like, I wouldn't, if like, I might. I might eat Call of Duty's pussy if she was beautiful, but she's not. But you know she has the the herp. I'm sure she does. Sure. Right. You can get over but that. But B, B, she was in Vietnam. They B, I've like never her. gotten a check for a review I've written. I just wrote one a week ago. Like there was no car that showed up with money or anything like that. So it's 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 just a joke to me. So people always demand like journalism, journalism. But then when we actually get it, it's like it's it's like we don't want it. Like so <laughs> so the- we had this character. Putnam Whipple, which you know we've we've all talked about for years, but um, and Game Informer, which I, I you know I grew up reading. I love those guys. They're they're members of the same industry as us. But they they all flew to Japan, probably wearing really nice clothes and with briefcases and suitcases full of like really nice stuff. And they sat down Shigeru Miyamoto, and they started asking him questions. And it was basically like, yes, yes, I, have yes, I have questions. On camera? Uh, no, it was like a whole no, written it feature. Whole, it was a whole feature. And Brian's like, holy shit, dude. Putnam Whipple got to interview Miyamoto. Yeah. <laughs> Read this article. And the questions were like, yes, I have questions. If Mario uh, drive a race car, he's a doctor, he uh, play tennis and golf, why he still going to space? So thank yes. you. And yes. then. It, it, it was like legit. Miyamoto. It was legit questions like that, and Miyamoto's like, I've, oh, Miyamoto had the same answer that the girl did at E3 when I asked her. I asked this little this Nintendo model, um, "Hey, if Mario goes into space, how does he breathe air?" And without missing a and beat, this, this she, is after a montage of him <clears throat> asking questions to people. Yeah, without missing a beat, she, she shuts down the whole character. She shuts down the whole character and goes, uh, "He's a cartoon. He doesn't need to breathe air." So basically, <laughs> Miyamoto was that girl, and he's like, uh, "He's a cartoon. He's not really a doctor." Like they, they were like, "Well, how?" Come Bowser, uh, um, he steals the princess every year for like twenty five years. But they also like they also play basketball and stuff together. Stuff with that, like you know, if like if my best friend did they really know, ask Miyamoto this? Yes. Yes. Really? Yeah. And so the article ends like, and he was just like, well, we kind of just think about them like Popeye characters, and they're all actors like in the same troupe, kind of like you know the way like if you watch like you know Ren and Stimpy or something, they have different jobs every time. And yeah. It's just like whatever because it's not fucking real. Yeah. Like it's not real, and that's why people. The meaning behind the Mario it, plot. And it, people, people go, we want video game journalism. Like, there's an, a fucking Anderson Cooper on the front lines of like, why does Yoshi eat fruit and it turns into eggs? No one fucking knows. There's no fucking answer to that. So like, you can ask a million times, you're not going to get the right answer there. There's no like, why didn't they ask? How does the altered beast turn into a fucking cat man? Like, <laughs> no one knows because it's fake. That's why. Because it looked cool, and that's all we could do with the yeah, limitations. Yeah, because we there had. was so much coke in the '80s. I consider myself a critic and an enthusiast writer. <laughs> So that so exactly exactly so the um they asked the closing thing was like basically what Scott like kind of danced around there was they were like hey if he's a if Mario's a fucking licensed doctor what's he doing with his hand in a fucking toilet <laughs> that's right that's <laughs> like like someone actually sat there and they're like. Dude, he could be making so much more money than this if he just like came in once or twice a year, performed a rudimentary sur- like surgery, or maybe some con- consulting, and then left. Instead of like, oh, he's got to go to space to steal his wife back. Maybe it was supposed to be funny. It wasn't. I That's the thing. Quest- I have a question. If Mario is a doctor and make a doctor a salary, why he still uh, find coin? <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> thank you. Because they're like, well, I know some doctors, and they don't have to put their hands in their shitty poop toilets they get a fucking plumber to do that i know a doctor and he makes a lot of money he wouldn't be caught dead stealing <laughs> pennies from heaven and then they're like they're like hey charge and chuck he's wearing football clothes why is he throwing baseball oh my god that was and, and miyamoto's like oh does he i don't what? even Did I they don't ask re- that? Yes. yes they're like i don't remember i don't remember i'm sorry what what is the context of this interview like, how was it presented it was like we it's asked it's, the, called, it's called i have question <laughs> yeah. no, the miyamoto. putnam whipple story no, like seriously how did they present it on, on a like, page whoa, whoa, with whoa. words to read. It wasn't even like, <laughs> seriously, guys. Now, now, hold on. Save your tomatoes and eggs. Don't throw them at me yet. Like, what was the headline? It was like, we we fucking get down to the bottom of Mario or whatever, which yeah. they didn't. And they asked about why the, the turtle with the football helmet throws baseballs. Yeah. Right, right. Why, right. Why, right. Why, why he throws baseballs. And they didn't ask why a dinosaur, which is extinct, can fly when he eats certain colored things. Oh, how dare they not ask that? Yeah, because that, I mean, that, you open up the fucking rabbit's hole there of just like, this can go on forever. Yep. So, if video you, game journalism. I wonder what Shigeru Miyamoto thinks 
of of like people that play his games in general. Like, oh, um, I, I know exactly what he thinks. Ready? You want me to do my Miyamoto impression of him every uh, time a new Mario game comes out? <laughs> Suckers. Yep. That's it. Followed by a, a money ching. <laughs> That's it. Or it's it's totally like the William Shatner on SNL. Uh, That's what that article was talking to was Trekkies. Him, was him sitting there going, it, "It's it's like Popeye. Yeah, they it's, plays it's, different characters because like, they're it's not a game. real. It's fake. Yeah. Why it's did he throw thing. baseballs? I don't know. We thought it would be funny. Like I I wanted that article to end with him being like, but seriously, when was the last time? You guys went home and told your wives that you love them. <laughs> like that's how it should have ended. And now I'm being mean, but fuck it. Like I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm just. I'm so sick of like. Uh, like I get lobbed this shit all the time. Like why don't you be more of a journalist and the like, quotes in the air and shit like that. And it's like it's because we, this is an entertainment medium. Like yep. just like movies, like TV shows, like. Well, look, when you say the word journalist, you look at things like, like political journalists or whatever. Sure. And there's things where, like, you'll actually, you know, the, 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 the people will actually talk to, like, insiders who give them dirt on things that are going on in the mm-hmm. real world that are, like, interesting and people might want to know or scandalous or whatever. Right. Exactly. Like, I'm on, I'm on the think, front lines of Fallujah and I'm dodging bombs and I'm getting hard hitting. But, the the, but, the, but the, I think all the kids on NeoGAF want a, a Woodward and Bernstein for video games and that doesn't they exist. They don't. No, they don't it, actually. It wouldn't exist in this world because there's nothing like that to uncover. Plus, no one's going to give up dirt because it's not like it's a PR site. The difference, not, it, well, the, not, and the difference is that is that there isn't like you know like when someone's like, man, they've been using <clears throat> depleted uranium shells in Iraq and it's been killing people for no. years. There's like a moral problem there. There isn't like these things in the video game industry where they're like, oh, Bowser kidnapped the princess. Yeah, there's I, not, you know, there's you know not, what would I don't make know, me... Mario killed a thousand fucking dinosaurs every time he jump off a of Yoshi. Exactly. In Super Mario. You know, you know what would make me the video game journalist of the year tomorrow if I broke the story that the Triforce was supposed to be a square force. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, no, it wasn't three triangles. It was supposed to be four cubes. People like, oh fuck, there's a fourth one. What's it stand for? Yep. And I was like, fucking <laughs> wisdom, power, 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 courage, and, and banging out. I didn't know what they stood for. I do. We both did. No, <laughs> sorry. Like, <laughs> it's all right. Idiot. So how, so 